did you hear about the really weird cats coming to town? Weird cats? What do you mean? Well, first, they live in wagons, always traveling with these entertainers. And second, they're supposed to be real ugly, with big, strange ears. And third, they actually eat locusts. Ew, bugs? No way! <laughs> Tell me about it. Wouldn't want to have dinner at their place. Sagwa was made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Xiaoxia. jugglers, and fire eaters, and acrobats. Mama, can we go tonight? No, they are entertainment for commoners, and we are not commoners. Did you hear about the really weird cats coming to town? Weird, weird cats? What do you mean? Well, first, they live in wagons, always traveling with these entertainers. And second, they're supposed to be real ugly, with big, strange ears. And third, hold on to your stomachs. Get this, they actually eat locusts. Locusts? Ew. Bugs? No way! That's gross! Tell me about it. Wouldn't want to have dinner at their place. That's gross! I don't believe it! We've got to go see this for ourselves. What? Go there? Are you crazy? We won't get too close. Whoa! I've never seen a cat like that before. His ears are big. But he's a good jumper. What's he doing? He caught a locust! Huh? Yeah. Gross! I wouldn't eat one of those yeah. if you paid me! Yuck! They're all probably going to be eating locusts! Yeah. Let's get out of here. Aren't you coming, Sogwa? No, I'm curious. If they eat locusts, what else do they do that's different? Father? We really want to see the traveling entertainers. The traveling entertainers? But Mama says we can't. They're in town? She says it's for commoners. They're jugglers and acrobats and everything. And musicians and dancers and... But yes, your mother is... She never changes her mind. But I will speak to her about this. It's not nice to spy. Oh. Well, I wasn't spying. I was just watching. You guys look, uh, different. And it's not nice to stare. You think we have funny ears, don't you? Uh, no. Um, well, yeah. Uh, they're so big. Well, you look like you just fell in an ink puddle. I don't. I look like everyone else. You don't look like us. Or anyone else where we come from. Oh, yeah? 
Well, well, at least I don't eat locusts. Oh, yeah? Well, what do you eat that's so great? Fish, and sometimes shrimp, and... Shrimp? They're gross! Disgusting! Yuck! Cats don't eat shrimp. Not real cats. I'm a real cat, and I can do any cat stuff better than you can. No way! Bet I can climb better than you. Go! Okay, so you're a good tree climber, just like me. But this doesn't prove anything. Well, I bet I'm a faster runner than you. On your marks, get set, go! traveling entertainers for just a little while? I told you before, we are not going to see those performers, and that's final! <laughs> hmm. My cherry blossom, as it is such a beautiful day outside, why don't we go for a stroll? It sounds like water! Lots of water! Like rapids! We have to jump onto a longer bridge! There's one! Jump! <laughs> oh no! Beel! Beel! I'm right here! Whoa! Good jump! Yeah, thanks. You too. I can't believe we made it off. We're completely lost. But I guess we can follow the river all the way back. Yeah, but that'll take all day and night. We've been traveling west, so to get back, we have to travel east. And east is this way. How did you know that? Every morning the sun rises in the east, and every night it sets in the west. So we should be traveling away from the sun. Wow! That's smart! Look! Traveling entertainers! The reader informed me earlier that these are the same entertainers that perform for the... Emperor. The Emperor? Really? They're signposts. Let's see which way to the village. Signposts? But they're in writing. We'll never figure it out. Actually, I read. A little. And I can also write. A, a little. You can read and write? Not everything, but this... this... This has my 
master's name on it. So this should be the way. Wow! You can read and write. I'm impressed. Where's Sakwa? She went back to see those strange cats with the big ears that eat locusts. Yeah, they eat locusts. What strange cats? We better go find her. Then we'll go see the traveling entertainers. So, my dear daughters, have you decided what you are going to wear tonight? Where? Tonight? Why? Well, tonight the Emperor's favorite traveling entertainers are performing. I think it would be fun for all of us to go. <gasps> what if we've traveled all day in the wrong direction? Listen! Music! Our music! Wow, you can hear that? They can't be far! Whoa! We're here! Thanks for helping me get back home. No, thanks for helping me get back home. You guys are in big trouble. Everyone's been searching. I found them! <gasps> Sagwa, we've looked everywhere for you two. Be whose parents have been as worried as we have. We got lost. And stuck. On, on a log in the river. And floated far away. And walked and walked until... We found our way back here. We're okay. Just hungry? Hungry? Of course. Be whose mother has invited us all for dinner. Huh? Dinner? Here? But... But... I don't think I'm going to like locusts very much. We don't have locusts for dinner. They're snacks, silly. But you should try them sometime. Yeah, maybe when you try shrimp. Yeah! Ugh. They are far more entertaining and skillful than I thought they would be. The Emperor has very good taste. <laughs> so then you ate locusts for dinner, right? Was it gross? Nope. They eat lots of other stuff, too. Stuff i never seen before. But it tastes amazing. You mean they're not totally weird? Hmm. Then maybe locusts aren't that bad either. <laughs> I am a curious cat, and I'm always on the lookout for ways to have fun. Wow, they look like they're having fun. Dance is a way to communicate. It can tell a story or celebrate something, like this one. In some parts of China, the peacock is a symbol of fortune and happiness. So this dance was created to honor the beautiful peacock. Each ethnic group in China has its own traditional dance. Whatever the reason or place dance is performed, dance is a big part of Chinese culture. What about you? Do you like to dance? I can do hip hop and I can tap dance. I think tap dancing is my favorite kind of dancing. I just, because I like it and it's fun. It's sort of like you can be free with it, but you have to follow the routine. <laughs> Hip hop is more of like a, like a yoga kind of thingy, like where you stretch and then you don't wear shoes for it. They have steps, but you can make up your own steps and they're still considered hip hop. But for tap dancing, you can change the names, but you can't really make up new steps or they're not considered tap dancing. They're really considered stomping on the ground with metal bottom shoes. Now that was a great story. I guess people everywhere can dance. Oh, look at this dance in Mongolia. This is the Mongolian bowl dance. It's a traditional folk dance that's been passed down through the generations. She has to balance a stack of bowls on her head while she dances. Oh, not an easy task. 
And with practice and more practice, you can learn it too. So, dance away. People all over the world are twirling and tapping. Whoa! Oh. What, what about, about you? you? Next on Sagwa. Can we go inside and watch them unwrap the presents? Well, we can, but don't you want to have the best view when the loveliest gift arrives? Look, a swan. So beautiful. Today is also your grandparents' anniversary. We have to do something special to honor their anniversary. Ufu, you can be our swan. Great. Wait, uh, what are you talking about? Yes, nobles from all over China have sent them in honor of the magistrate and Tai Tai's wedding anniversary. Can't we go inside and watch them unwrap the presents? Well, we can, but don't you want to have the best view when the loveliest gift arrives? From the emperor? <laughs> You'll see. From Prince Mugong. A Jin Yu. Another goldfish. Wonderful. Dump it in the pond with the others. Where's the Emperor's gift? Surely he hasn't forgotten us. From our most exalted Emperor. What could it be? A long string of pearls? A jade scepter? A Bu Cho Ren. Oh! A back scratcher. A most delightful and uh, practical gift, don't you think, my cherished cherry blossom? On our special day, the Emperor sends us a. favorite flowers, <gasps> Lianhua and Juhua, lotuses and chrysanthemums. <gasps> so, no more gifts. What's next? Ah, but there is one last gift. <laughs> From your devoted villagers. Oh, a lovely swan and, and flowers. <laughs> Don't let it off the palace grounds. It's the only decent gift we've got all day. Tai must not have much of an appetite. She barely touched her food. <laughs> oh, looking for some scraps after the feast, are we? Hmm, I really shouldn't, but... But you deserve more than scraps today. After all, today... Is also your grandparents' anniversary. Huh? Mm. Well, happy anniversary then. Stop! We can't eat this. Sure we can. Watch. No! 
We have to do something special to honor their anniversary. Eating is special? Nai Nai did say how she loved those lotuses and chrysanthemums. Well, there are plenty of petals in the courtyard. That's it! We'll make a beautiful bouquet all around these bamboo nests of food. Great <gasps> idea, Sagwa. And Nai Nai loved the swan so much, <gasps> maybe we could... <gasps> Heard there was a big party at the palace. I see you all got your share. Care to share? Fufu, you can be our swan. I can? Great! Wait, uh, what are you talking about? Hmm. Now, this is where Nai Nai and Yeya will sit. And you know what you have to do, Fufu. Yes, I go outside and I fly in when I hear. And when I hear. Happy anniversary! Right, got it. <gasps> hurry, hurry! Nai Nai, yeah, yeah. Please have a seat. So, please accept this from all of us to you and have a very, very happy anniversary! <laughs> Happy anniversary! <gasps> Happy anniversary! Uh, a grand gift from your grateful grandchildren. Three petals? Uh, uh, wait! Uh, what happened? Sorry. Don't worry, Sagwa. Everything's gonna be great. I hope. Thank you, dears. It's just lovely. You're welcome. Mm. What a disaster. Yeah, all that wasted shrimp. Didn't you hear? They think our gift is just lovely. Of course they're going to say that. <sighs> They just don't want to hurt our feelings. Huh? Hmm. Huh. That certainly was an interesting presentation. Yes, but the most thoughtful present. Psst. That one's Donghua. A bit scruffy, but full of life. And this one has to be Sogwa. So colorful and bright. Shigwa! Even if a hundred swans flew in with bouquets as big as clouds, I'd never appreciate it as much as these three petals. Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary! See? They loved it! <gasps> That's Fufu! Fufu, what are you doing? Just using the old bat sonar to locate the, um... Gift that I uh, uh, dropped into the pond. Oh, look! A swan feather. Where is the swan, by the way? Well, uh, gee, that's another thing. Uh, you see. Oh. Huh. Oh. Oh. Now, where has that swan gone off to? My only half decent gift, and it's flown the coop. Sakwa, don't! She's not in one of her cheery moods! What's this? You ate my swan? Of 
course you didn't. A little kitten like you. Why, I'd be more worried about the swan eating you. Beautiful, isn't it? A swan flying across the moon. Thank you. Imagine something so simple being so special after all. Oh, there you are, dear. Um, found the swan yet? Don't worry. I'll order the villagers to come up with another swan first thing in the morning. No, swans are meant to fly free. Maybe it will come back to our pond someday. What's cut into her? And even if it never returns, we'll always have this feather as a reminder of our villagers' thoughtfulness. Oops. Ouch! Now, I know you're not fond of the Emperor's gift, but it really, really... Ah, oh, it really gets to those hard-to-reach places, doesn't it? Huh? Yes, yes. It's one of the finest crafted food children I've ever seen. Happy anniversary, my darling husband. Happy anniversary, my dear, wonderful wife. I'm starving. I'm afraid I didn't even touch my dinner. Not to worry. I'm sure it's still waiting for you in the kitchen. <gasps> and I'm sure it's not. Sagwa. Visit us at pbskids.org. You know me. I'm Sagwa. Huh? An adventurer. Ready for takeoff. Always looking for a good challenge. Because you never know what you might find. I also love singing with my friends. Hey, son. And dancing with my family. And, of course, writing calligraphy for the Magistrate. Sometimes I feel like the luckiest cat around. Sagwa of China! Contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Cheers, ya. PBS Kids! Climbed on the backs of the dragon friends. Let's all go to Dragon Land. It's time to fly to a magical place in the sky. Get ready for takeoff. Dragon Tales is next. On PBS Kids. It's time to sneak a peek at Between the Lions, Between the Shows. Ready? Let's go! Today's episode is about the short I sound. I have a big sink. I feel the blue ink. But each time I blink, the blue ink turns pink. Next time I think, I will not blink. Add a big sink, filled with ink. Join us next time for more Between the Lions, Between the Shows. On PBS Kids. Kids is made possible by your support of your local PBS station. Coming up 
next on Dragon Tales. It's my Juggle Bug Performing Station.